All right, welcome back to day eight of Bold is Fit. Fitting farewell to 2020. And we are back with another workout. 40 minutes of action packed movements coming up to make sure that you get your workout of the day done. All right, day eight. Yesterday was a brilliant day. Today is gonna be another day. We progress into the intensity part. Ready, steady, and explode. Ready's got four exercises, five rounds, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. The first one's a push up hold. All you gotta do is stay in the push up. Second one's a side to side squat. A new movement introduced today, it's a, it's a variation of a squat just to make sure that you move your legs, adduct them side to side. The third one's fist push up. You gotta hold on to your iron fist and do a push up. Knee down also works. And the last one's a side lunge, side to side lunges. So you gotta start on, yeah that's about it. You can finish on one side and then move to the other side. That works, alright. So final boss, are you ready for day 8, bowl is fit. Fitting farewell to the year 2020 begins in 3, 2, 1 and go. That's 30 seconds of push up hold coming up with Phantom Boss post his mad party of uh, biryani and cake yesterday. He's here to burn it all out. Alright, keep it going, keep it going. We've got 10 more seconds to go before we move on to side to side squat. And three, two, one, and let's go. Side to side squat. Keep it going. All you gotta do is make sure you get a good distance between two legs and your hips placed between your two legs. 15 seconds into this movement. The next one's fist push up and then we move on to side to side lunges. All right, 25 seconds up. Great stuff buddy, and break. And then moving on to the third exercise, fist push up. We start off in three, two, one, and go. The whole idea is to make sure your wrist gets the stability strength to hold on to things. If you cannot sustain the push ups throughout the round, what you gotta do is drop your knees down and hit that depth in the chest. Gotta open up the muscles of your chest, push from the base of your knuckles, push from the base of your knuckles, push it up till you can straighten your elbows out and break And the last one is side lunges coming up in 3, 2, 1 and go. Side to side lunges, you can finish one side and then move on to the other or you can do alternate one like how Phantom Boss is showing it to us right now. Try to make sure that the leg that is supposed to be straight, the knees locked, basically quads contra contracted, the weights on your heel so that your hips are activated, push off from your glutes. Right, we've got five more seconds and we will move on to round number two. And break.
That's the end of round number one. Get some water quickly, the body's warming up. And we're gonna start off in three, two, and let's go. Push up, hold for 30 seconds to test those shoulders, to test those chest muscles. We've got a good 25 seconds round coming up. And then we move on to the next bit, which is the side to side squat. 15 more seconds to go. Great work, fandom. What you gotta do is breathe when you are holding on to a movement. You gotta breathe, you gotta make sure that you are taking enough oxygen to sustain that hold and break. We move on to the next one, side to side squat, 30 seconds, 3, 2, 1 and let's go. Got to move, take a wide step out and squat it. Move, take a wide step out and squat it. We've got 20 more seconds to go. Got to figure out your depth guys, got to make sure that your knees are pushed out. Do not let your knees cave in, the, the weight's on the base of your heel. Dig those heel into the ground and stand up and break. That's the end of second one. We move on to fist push up. Let's go. In three, two, one, and move. Gotta make sure you go down all the way, chest an inch above the ground. And from the base of your knuckles, gotta push the weight up. If you are struggling to finish off the reps, drop your knees down and continue doing the reps. If you feel uh, your knuckles are being hurt, if you're doing it on the floor, Get some cloth underneath it, get a mat and break. The last bit for round number two is side to side lunges. We will start off in three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds of side to side lunges works on the inside of your thighs, your glutes. A good amount of ankle mobility is required to get good depth in this. We've got 15 more seconds, 15 more seconds of side to side lunges coming up. Last 10, last 10 seconds. Get some reps in, breathe. And break. That's the end of round number two. 30 seconds break. If you want to sip onto some water, that's the time now. And we're gonna start off in three, two, one, and push up, hold. Third time today. Round ready. Then we've got study and explode. Keep it going, keep it going. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Twenty seconds up. Come on! Guys, if you struggle, no, knees drop, but your chest does not move. Bam, break.
right? Keep it going with side to side squat in three, two, one, and hit it. Let's go. 30 seconds of side to side squat with Phantom Boss and Coach Mo Gambo. Gotta make sure you get good depth. Go wide enough so that your hips fit in between your limbs. Wait on the heel, not on the toes, not on the front end. Make sure your heels planted on the ground. And break. Right, moving on to fifth push up in three, two, one, and go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's work on some stability with your wrists and some amount of strength work on your shoulders and triceps. Make sure your hips don't sink, brace your core real hard, squeeze your glutes. Your shoulder and your hip needs to be in one line. We've got five more seconds. Not an easy movement at all. And break. Last exercise for round number three coming up with side lunges in three, two, one, and go. Keep pushing your hips back. Let your knees travel a little forward without lifting your heels off the floor. That's the whole rule. You gotta focus on making sure your heels don't come off the floor. That's the idea, that's the plan. That's how you gotta roll with side to side lunges. You've got another 10 more seconds to go. Let's go in five, four, three, and that's the end of round number three. Hydrate, hydrate, breathe, recover, walk around, shake it off and we'll start off the round number four in three, two, one and hit it. Let's go. Let's go, Phantom Boss. He's not dropped the hold for any of the rounds. He's making sure that he is working on those chest muscles, the triceps. Isometric holds are the most toughest in form of building strength. A great accessory, a great rehab tool, a great way to build mental strength also, right? So. Make sure you do not quit on the holes. Just focus on breathing. We've got three more seconds. And break. Moving on to side to side squat in three, two, one, and let's go. Fan Boss is very silent today. Very unusual of him being silent. Usually he's the guy who's making faces, passing wise comments. I think the weather's not suiting him. It's pretty cold in Bangalore today. So I think it's uh, the winter, the winter sickness has frozen his comments in his head. Break! Oh, 
All right, moving on to the fifth push-up. We're gonna start off in three, two, one, and go. Let's go, buddy. Fourth time in the round, ready. We've got one more round after this. 20, 20 minutes off, round ready. Guys, if you are struggling with the fifth push-up, it's all right, you can move on to doing the regular one. There is no hard stop with the way it needs to be done as far as you are doing the push-ups, right? You want you to move, the whole idea is you work out. You do not take breaks. More breaks than workout, no. You gotta work more, break less. And break. Last bit of round number four coming up with side lunges in three, two, and let's go! Phantom Boss unbroken with the reps. Unbroken with the reps. We keep going, 20 more seconds to go. And we move on with the last round after this, which is the fifth one for the ready round. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, five. Rounds to go, sorry, fourth round coming to an end and we will start and break. We're gonna start off with the fifth round. In five, four, three, two, and go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, last time for today, we've got the push-up hold coming up. Round ready, fifth one. First exercise and we are halfway into this. We've got another 10 more seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and... Let's move to side to side, squat. Keep it going. Make sure you take your legs out enough so that your hips can fit between your limbs and get enough depth. Weight again on the base of your heels. Do not lift your heel up. Let your knees drive forward, hips drive back and extend it all together. We've got five more seconds of side to side squat and then move on to fist push up in three, two, and break. Fist push up one last time for. The round ready, coming up in three, two, one, and let's go. One last time, guys, one last time. Get those reps on if the fist hold is hurting your knuckles. Get back to the regular push-up hold, or you could probably drop your knee down, make it a little easier. But what you gotta do is keep repping. You gotta keep repping for 30 seconds, that's the whole idea. Let's go, Phantom, come on, come on, buddy. One last time today. We move on to side lunges in three, two, one, and go.
and start. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Side lunges for 30 seconds. You just got to make sure the leg that's supposed to be straight is straight throughout the movement. Do not bend. Only one knee flexes at a time. And break. Alright, that's the end of round ready. Good job. We finished 20 minutes of workout. We've got a minute of break. Hide it yourself. Get some breath. Shake your legs off. Move your hands. And we're going to start off with the steady round once Fan Boss gets his breath back. Alright guys, welcome back to round number 2. This is Steady, 45 seconds work, 15 seconds break of all core. And as you know, Mr. Hardcore himself is going to be leading from the front. You have heel digs for the first round. You guys know what it is, we've done this in the past. Simple exercise, make sure to keep your stomach braced. Reach out a little bit and tap your heels left to right. For 45 seconds, followed by 15 second breather. Once we're done with that, we're going to do a simple plank hold. You can either do the palm plank or the elbow plank. Entirely up to you. Make sure to keep your bum squeezed and back straight. Once you're done with that, we move on to bicycle crunches. It's like riding a bicycle on an inverted position. All right? Again, get into a boat hold or a brace hold position. Make sure your left elbow tries and touches or gets closer to your right knee as you extend your knee and ex I mean, as you flex your knee and extend it forward for 45 seconds. Are you ready, Mogambo? All right, cameras, are you ready? Let's have complete focus on Mogambo for 45 seconds, including the 15 second break, which makes it one minute into five rounds. Are you ready? Let's go in three, two, one, and move. Keep moving, guys. This is fairly easy. It's going to work. Your obliques, you're going to feel it. No, I'm not talking about the comics. We'll get to that much later. Maybe Bold Fit Series number two. 15 seconds up, 40 more, 30 more seconds to go. Breathe in, breathe out, make sure your spine's neutral. Keep your head in a neutral position. Don't bend down or completely lift it upwards. All right, make sure it's in neutral position. 25 seconds up, 20 more to go. 15 seconds remaining. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and break. 15 second breather, we move on to plank holds. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Hold that plank for 45 seconds. Here's a little trick. If you really want max effect from the plank, make sure to squeeze every inch of your body for 45 seconds. But, but make sure you keep breathing. All right, let's go, Mogambo. We're 20 seconds down, 25 more to go. Squeeze your glutes, buddy. That's it, nice and easy. Mogambo can hold the plank for six hours straight, uh, out of which one minute will be on the floor, rest will be on his back. Keep going, 10 more seconds to go. In 5, 4, 3, 2, and break. 15 second breather before we move on to bicycle crunches.
Let's go, buddy. Let's see you ride that bicycle. Come on. Nice and easy. There he goes. Make sure to breathe in, breathe out, guys. All right. It's very important to keep breathing throughout this exercise. Nice. Can you show them the scale down version, buddy? Scale down version is to make your, uh, keep your heels ground on the floor and just rotate your torso left to right. Try and focusing on the right elbow, touching the left knee. And vice versa, keep going. 20 seconds up, 25 more to go. Nice, buddy, nice. Take small breaks if you can't. Hang on for 45 seconds. A three to five second breather, but immediately start the process. Do not break any further. 35 seconds done, 10 more seconds to go, guys. Four, three, two, and break. And round number two of steady in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Heel digs coming right up for 45 seconds. This is round number two of steady. 45 seconds work, 15 second break. That's Coach Mogambo and this is the Phantom Boss. We are here to get you fit. We are here to actually get you fighting fit. Please edit all that out. 20 seconds up, 25 more to go, guys. Nice and easy. 30 seconds up. 15 more seconds to go. Keep going. Keep going, buddy. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and break. Let's move on to plank holds right now in three, two, one, and go. Very nice, buddy. Keep going. Squeeze your bum. That's it. Make sure your hips are stable. Do not let your hips sink or shift towards one side. If you can't keep your legs in a narrow position, you can always move them to a wider stance, which would probably give you a more stable position if and only if you cannot do the regular stance, which is the narrow hold. 25 seconds done, 20 more to go, and that's the scale down version with your knees on the floor. Make sure you're squeezing your hips, uh, squeezing your glutes, hips facing the floor. All right, 30 seconds up, we have 15 more to go. 10 more seconds remaining, buddy. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. We want the bicycle crunches to end steady round number two. And let's go. That's it, buddy. Keep going, man. Keep going. Nice and easy. Brilliant. See, he's holding that torso twist for a second to give an optimal burn around that area. All right? So keep going, buddy. 15 seconds up. 30 more to go, man. 30 more to go. Hang in there. That's it. Nice and easy. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And those of you wearing singlets like Coach Magambo, make sure to deodorize. Let's go. <laughs> 20 se sorry, 35 seconds up with 10 more seconds to go. In 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and break. That's the end of round number 2 of Steady. We have 3 more rounds remaining. We will be back in 15 seconds. Are you ready, Mogambo? In five, four, three, two, let's go. Heel digs for 45 seconds. Beautiful. Keep going. Nice and easy. 10 seconds out. 35 more to go. 15 seconds done. 30 more to go. That's it, breathe in, breathe out. This is by far the easiest one of the lot, right? No, not really. Which was the easiest, the plank? 
the brace hold. So what do you think was easy? Planks? 15 more seconds remaining, buddy. Hang in there. What do you have for breakfast today? Didn't I just get you apple cake for breakfast today? And break. Moving on to plank holds in 15 seconds. In three, two, one, go. Nice one, nice one, buddy. Keep holding that plank. Keep your glutes squeezed. Show them the scale down version, please. Nice, can you hold that for another 15 more seconds so everybody can have a clear up picture or a better view of what a scale down plank version or a knee plank hold is. 20 seconds out, 25 more to go. Keep going, Just keep your glutes squeezed. That's it, nice. 20 more seconds to go, folks. Last 15 seconds remaining. Attaboy, Mogamba's on fire. In five, four, three, two, and break. 15 second breather before we move on to bicycle crunches. In five, four, three, two, one, go. That's it, nice one buddy. Slow and steady, breathe in, breathe out. Work that torso crunches. Feel that burn around your core. Nice son. 10 seconds up, 35 more to go. I honestly think this is harder. This is probably the hardest of the lot. Second, I think second comes heel digs and then third plank holds. I, I have no idea. I think plank holds are easier compared to the rest. 20 more seconds to go. 30 seconds up, 15 more seconds to go. How are you feeling? In five, four, three, two, one, break. Let's move on to bicycle. Let's move on to round number four of steady. In five, four, three, Two, and go. Heel digs coming up for the fourth time. Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna grab me some B, C, double, A. I think I'm getting exhausted just talking about Coach Mogambo's routine. Let's go Mogambo, 20 seconds up, buddy. Let's pace this out, come on. 20 more to go, that's it, faster, 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 come on. Let's go, last 15 seconds remaining, buddy. 15 seconds remaining, work that. Come on, buddy, you got this, move it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and break. Let's move on to plank holds. Eight, five. Four, three, two, and go. Blank holes for 45 seconds. This is round number four of steady. After this, we have one more round before we move on to explode. Where I take control. 10 seconds up, buddy. 15 seconds up. 30 more to go. Hang in there. Make sure your palms are directly under your shoulders because as you try to push your palms all the way out, you're putting a lot of pressure on your shoulders and that could lead into multiple issues. So it's better be safe than be sorry. So keep your palms directly under your shoulder. All right, 10 more seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and break. Let's go, bicycle crunches coming up for the fourth time. Let's go buddy, your time started. You're five seconds done. Come on, make up for it. That's it. Excellent buddy, excellent. Let's go man, let's go, come on.
Come on, buddy. 30 seconds up, man. Let's go, man. Come on. In nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and break. That's the end of round number four. We have round number five of steady coming up. In five, four, three, two, and go. Fifteen seconds up, thirty more to go. Let's go, buddy. Come on, breathe in, breathe out. Thirty seconds up, fifteen more to go. Come on, Mugambo, you gotta increase the tempo, man. Come on, last round, give it all out. Come on, you got this, man. Ten more seconds. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And break. Let's move on to plank holds. All right, plank holds coming up in five, four, three, two, and go. So just for my cheap thrills, we're going to do this for two minutes. Let's see if Mogamo can hold plank for two minutes. What is that beach pose? Easy. All right. Guys, from tomorrow onwards, we'll go live on a different platform for the entire duration of 40 minutes. Please leave your comment section below. A9, A7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, and break. We move on to bicycle crunches for one last time. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Can I get bicycle crunches for 45 seconds? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All right, I'm pausing the timer till he can do bicycle crunches for 45 seconds. Let's go. Come on. That's not that much better. Timer starts now. Can you please pick up? That's it. Keep going. 20 seconds up. 25 more to go. Hmm. Mugambo is very honest with his training. He keeps going on and on like those Everready batteries that you see online. Keep going, buddy. 10 more seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6. All right, we will move on to the explode round, which is a five minute all out power round. We've got two exercises today, 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off. The first one, mountain climber, just to make sure you work on those flexor score. We gotta do that for 15 seconds and the next 15 seconds is duck jump burpee. This is gonna be one killer round. Phantom loves burpee, Phantom loves doing jumps. All right, we're gonna start off in three, two, one and Round explode. Coming up. Five rounds, five minutes. 
pace it up. The whole key about Explode Round is to pace it up so that you got a last and give it all your best in the round three, four, and five. Nobody takes a break in the first 15 seconds and break. And we're gonna start off in three, two, one, and let's go. If you are struggling to do a burpee, you could just do a basic squat jump. You can just do is a small hop, but what you're gonna do is make sure you jump. The whole idea is that you jump, right? And break. That's round number one coming to an end. We will move on to round number two. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. 15 seconds of mountain climbers coming up. You've got five more seconds. Make sure you do not forget to squeeze those muscles of your side and break. And then we move on to tuck jump burpee. We will start taking a count from this round for Phantom just to show how you gotta pace it up. We'll see how a basic pacing works into getting all out explosive by the end of the round, right? And let's go, plank and jump. Plank, push up, tuck jump, yeah. Two, that's three, that's four, that's five and break. We've got five tuck jump burpee for round number two. 15 seconds break and we move on to the explode round number three with mountain climbers. Alrighty, let's go in three, two, one, and round number three of you. If you cannot do the power of mountain climbers, all you gotta do is the basic one. But you gotta make sure you pull your knees up and down. Ten seconds up. You got five more seconds. This is just just build up the intensity in your stomach, your legs, and break. So that we can go all out with tuck jump burpees. We've got 15 seconds. We've done five tuck jump burpees. Let's see if we can do six or seven. We just want to make sure that we are pacing into the workout. All right, let's go in three, two, one, and go. That's one. That's two. Let's try to get six, three, four, five, and we break. All right, so we've got five burpees, we've got six burpees, and we've got two more rounds left. We've got a 15 seconds break. Let's. Use this break well, do not sip onto a lot of water guys, one sip max. Three, two, one, and mountain climbers burpee coming up for 15 seconds. This is the plyo mountain climber guys and there is a regressive version also where you do not throw your legs around, you just gotta do it, the basic one, and break. All right, we've got 15 seconds break, and we move on to duck jump burpee. We've done five for round number two, six for round number three. Let's see round number four, what we've got in three, two, one, and go. One, two, go three, go four, let's go five, let's go six, and all you got is one last minute guys, use the 15 seconds well, probably take an extra 5 seconds, you can probably pause the video, but when you do the 15 seconds, go all out, right? No breaks between the 15 second work time, you've got a good 15 seconds to recover. Round number 5 for Explode with Mountain Climbers, give it your best guys, this is the last round for day 8, after this you can go rest it, stretch, I would... I would request you guys to make sure that you are putting in some amount of time with uh, stretches and break. Alright, one last time, 15 seconds, tuck jump burpee, we've got 4, 6 and 6. Let's see if the Phantom Boss, the real beast mode, can beat the count of 6 on his previous round to make sure that he ends on a high, right? That's 1, whoa, that's 2, that's 3, that's 4. That's five. 
That's six. Whoa. That's seven. Hey, beep. Timer goes, man. Stop sharp. 15 seconds. Good one. As usual, Phantom Boss setting benchmarks to the explode round every time he takes up the challenge. All right. Even you gotta do is take this up as a challenge and make sure you gotta get better at every round. All you gotta do is just show up every day, be consistent, get your sleep, recover. We will see you again for day nine tomorrow. Day eight coming to an end with Coach Mugambo and the Phantom Box. Signing off. Wow, wait, who are